Generic greetings and welcome to Abandoned Ship. Today's beverage is... <sighs> That's very tasty indeed. Mm. That is orange juice with juicy bits. Plus one generic scurvy avoidance points for me. So, this is roguelike. You have a ship and a crew and you will be sailing around fighting other ships and crews. You'll also be able to dock up and upgrade and repair your ship and get your crew better and there's quests and stories and I don't think it's unreasonable to call it very much like FTL. A lot of people have been comparing it to that and I don't think that's unreasonable to do so at all. Either way, I was going to do a full preview but I didn't have time before getting this video out so this is why it's just a quick play and show you what it's like and stuff. Like I said, it's not a preview or review or anything like that. It's just literally me playing it for a bit and uh, enjoying a nice delicious beverage, which... Hmm. That is actually very nice orange juice. It's currently in early access, as you can see, uh, version 0 0.5.8082, and I've played, oh, I don't know, about maybe uh, uh, just under an hour, something like that. So, yeah, as I said, I normally do a couple of hours before doing a preview, but I uh, just didn't have time. So, either way, let's just go to story, new story. Uh, we're going to turn tutorials off. Everything else is default. It is a rogue, like so. The map will change based on the seed and stuff, but that's just default. So, here we go. A wild chorus, the birth of a monster. So, the story is something, something, sea monster, something, something, Lovecraft, something, something, and let's skip it because quite Quite frankly, A, don't think you care, and B, uh, I don't really want to spoil too much for you. We run away, and we have to put together our crew. So we're the 7-1, for some reason. And we have to unlock uh, different crew members. So they've got different stats, as you can see. So you've got, uh, like, Helms. Uh, you've got, navig well, it's called Navigation, Reload, Repair, and Melee. So I'm going to go for the Navigator, because they are good at navigator rings. Uh, we're going to go for Admiral Creeby, uh, who's going to be the Gunner. And then we also want to go for... Oh, Marine's good at Melee. And um, the Doc has got a third one, which is Healing. Um... We don't know. I think we'll go for the Sailor, which is like a mid-ground good for repairing as well. So we'll do that one, and then we burst the door, blah, 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 and this is our ship. So we are putting together our crew. We're going to clicky, clicky, draggy, draggy, get them all on board. And what we need to do is uh, sail away. So we're going to take our navigator, and then we're going to move them up to the top. And then we can click on our, each of our crew, and then tell them to uh, cast off, essentially. So use your cutlasses, cutlises, cutli. There we go. And uh, cutlass, and boom, we chop that up, and then we escape. There we are. So we are now on the ocean waves. Uh, there's different points along the ship where you can uh, man the uh, different points. Either way, uh, this is our main map. As you can see, we have to get... Well, there's different ways in or out, so we need to go out the bottom there, but it does require a certain number of objectives to be completerated, so we'll obviously have to have a look at that. So we'll have a sail around and see what we can see. See what we can see in the sea. Uh, we also have a quest log as well. Oh, this is... Sorry, this is your... Um, the known world main maps of the Great Founding, Northern Remnants, and it's changed, the biome changes and stuff. You've also got, like say, a quest log, which is escape, uh, crew management, you've got the ship management, and um, things like that. So anyway, we'll close that down. We'll have a look at that later on. So anyway, we need to get through here, which is currently an unknown objective. Uh, if we go there, it is, um, oh, patrol cult ship. A patrolling cult ship has uh, stumbled across us. Okay, so what I'm going to do is pause it for a second, because I need to rearrange some of the crew. So I'm going to tell that person to man that, that person to man that, and then the captain will go up the top and man that and then we'll unpause it control of the ship is fairly simple you can close the distance or increase the distance on the left hand side here it will then put your crew onto each of the cannons and such and uh, well this is a chain shot actually and uh, yeah we put them on the cannons and then load it up and then they'll be able to fire. Actually, we'll do that. So we'll mouse over. We click on that one. You don't target specific points, which I'm disappointed in. It would be nice to uh, target like specific points like the water line or anything like that. But I guess you didn't really do that. I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's very difficult to aim these sort of things. Although, I don't know why there's a separate cannon for chain shot rather than that. I would assume it would be just easier to say, well... You just put in whatever you when you reload, you choose your shot. Um, like Sid Me's Pirates, for example, which is obviously a marvelous piece of kit, which I will get around to showing at some point. Either way, there's my chain shot going out. I am taking on uh, their sails. There, what I'm going to do is close the distance a little bit. I'm going to get the captain to go down the bottom and uh, mount the uh, mount the uh, the grape shotgun again. So this is grape shot, standard cannonballs, um, your chain shot, all stuff that you can put in the standard cannons, I believe. So I don't know why it uh, wasn't just hit the done that that way. Um, you can see my damage is on the bottom left. You've also got flooding. You can also get set on fire. My other stuff's on the right where it comes to like what needs repairing and such. So the main mass needs repairing. Uh, there's stuff up the top. As far as I can tell, you can't target specific systems. Don't know if that uh, changes later on or whether it's a case if you need like more skills. But either way, it doesn't look like I can do that. What I'm trying to do is get within close range and then what I can do is use a ramming speed action because my navigator is now maxed out and uh, it'll be all kinds of naughty when that happens. I'm out of range for the grape shot. So as soon as soon as I get within range, it will be, um, yeah, a bit iffy. Uh, what I'll do is I'll cancel that. I'm going to get this other guy, once he's fired, to go up and fire once more here. 
because this will reload very quickly. Uh, doing more damage to the sails obviously helped me out. It uh, looks like I'm actually going to destroy them before anything else. Actually, I've got some flooding there, so I better uh, get my sailor to go and deal with that one. Uh, you can uh, pump out the water from your ship. There goes the chain shot there, which is going to uh, hopefully help me out in getting close. Yes, it has. And then as soon as I'm at close range, I can then fire this thing, which is the grape shot. And boom, as you can see there, I've uh, hit loads of the crew. You can just take the crew out if you do so desire. That is a possibility. What I'm going to do, though, is go brace, 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 get close. And um, there is an option to fire all your guns if they're loaded, but uh, we haven't got that. So here we go. Bang! And... Um, Sorry, ship, you have been destroyed erated, and uh, because they, yeah, you don't don't run, you'll just die tired. There we go, and their ship goes. Bye. Glug glug. So I'm going to get this guy to go and pump the, uh, the the water out of the ship. You don't need to do that. Once you've finished the fight, you can simply just leave if you want to. You don't have to pump that out. So we will do that. And there you go. So we get some rewards and now we can go to the next area which in this case is an unknown biome. Completely unknown. But it costs 25 food to travel there. I we, oh, we have 75 food so that should be fine. So we can change our captain and stuff so you can change colour or whatever and like male, female. Actually, no, why can't we change gender? Can we not change gender? Apparently we can't. Oh, well. Anyway, so we'll confirm that. Let's just go. As I said, there's a story that goes along with this. Score. I'm not going to uh, spoil it too much, but essentially we're running away for the time being. Um, so, I, I mean, I'm more interested in the moment to moment anyway. So, escape. Uh, reach the far the cultist, uh, The reach of the cultist extends far. Escape this area. Ah, here we go. This is a uh, uh, encounter here. So, tension on deck. Uh, strings more than the dragons for the rum ration. Two uh, cult ships have been spotted in the mid distance moving to trap you so we can either say flee uh, get the ship turned around uh, full sails now our only hope is to deliver a knockout blow at the first ship before dealing with the second I'll say run away and you brought both ships unaware see the activity crew breathe easy again yeah we managed to run away okay so I managed to get away that's fine that's fine um, I like the green on this one. It's a very nice colour. Look at that. That's a very nice green colour. Oh uh, loot as well which is food just stranded in the middle of the ocean ah <laughs> uh, Guybrush would approve. Uh, I should have renamed my captain Guybrush, shouldn't I? Oh, well. Um, so, we'll have a look around here. Because we are the mighty pirate. Um, actually, we're not, we're not pirates, are we? Anyway, uh, actually, shall I look at the main map? There's anything of note? That's our exit there. And I'm just having to sail around to find um, something or other. Uh, here we go. There's another thing there. This is... Uh, a cult ship. So it looks like we're going to fight them. That's fine with me. I will pause it for a second. What I forgot to do is uh, get everybody. Uh, you can go there. You can go there. And you can go there. And then I will unpause it. And then once we are done, I'm go. Why did they not go? So I'm yeah. I, I'm clicking on these, but they're not going to there. Yeah, that's right. You have to click on the actual cannons rather than the symbols, which. I don't know why that is. What I'm going to do is save the positions of my crew, so I can I can always reload it, which I think is a nice feature. Let's just close in there. Um, our default position should be there as well, but I I I didn't change that, uh, which is a shame. Okay, so let's get this fired out. There's our chain shot. Looks like they're firing incendiary by the look of it. Um, no, it might not be incendiary. It might be um, some sort of horrible cultist stuff, which is something I don't want to buy stock in. Um, so I'm going to get close, get closer. I do have abilities, so I've got uh, maneuver, ramming speed. I've got um, run away from combat and I've got flip the ship so we, we go on to this side so if your cannons get destroyed there you can spin them a thing around it shouldn't be any problem let's just fire those um, oh yeah that doesn't seem to be quite good it's all ugh, it's like tentacles and stuff but either way we are getting close this is good there's the shots going out boom so they're on eh, about two thirds health so that's not too bad you can see we're automatically repairing the uh, I'm going to call them subsystems but they're not but uh, we're automatically repairing those uh, if we're manning them or near them as well. There goes some more shots in. There's some ones receiving back. Yeah, it's always hitting the back for some reason. I don't know if they're specifically targeting that. But uh, we're not taking much damage at all there. Got a little bit of health uh, loss on our captain. And if we want to heal that, we either have a surgeon go to him. Or he can go right to the front of the ship there. At the moment though, no real issue. We don't need to bother too much about that one. Let's see if we can get closer. Uh, obviously, I'm taking this uh, this sail out as well. And um, it should be quite easy. In fact, you know what? I'm just going to stay at mid-range. Because quite frankly... Um, I'm, I'm, I'm doing more than enough damage to really get them destroyed, and they're not doing a lot to me anyway, so let's just wait until this is loaded, fire that shot out, and then there you go. Yeah, they're on only about fifth health now. 20% or so. Could get closer to fire the grape shot. I like when you mouse over the uh, the symbols, it shows you what what range can be fired at, and also um, it gives you like a... A list of what it does. So low damage to crew, very low damage, uh, causing hull cracks and stuff like that. 
Uh, let's fire that up there. As I said, it would be nice to have more targeting stuff, but hey-ho. Uh, looks like they're getting close. We're going to try and uh, go back out because, obviously, they're probably trying to... Are they trying to ram? Uh, I don't know if they're trying to get away, but I don't want that. I want to try and destroy or them. So, come on. Hurry up and fire. There we go. And that should... That should kill it. There we go. There's their ship gone. I believe you can rescue crew if they fall off because they've like a winch on the back. Although the tutorial told me that, but I've never seen it happen. Hey ho. And uh, there we go. So what I'm going to do, bring the captain down the front there. And heal up. There you go. No problem. We've got 20, uh, 20 gold generic, generic loots. And uh, what we'll do is we'll uh, say load crew. And that loads the crew back to uh, the default positions. Cool. Okay, leave combat. So, another sail around. This thing's still locked. Can't go there. We're going to have to look for the uh, objective, although we have found the exit. Yeah, two or four. Two or four um, things investigated. So we'll have another sail about. See what we can see on the sea. Don't know if I'm going to make, find a port. Port would be nice because the ship's currently at about two thirds. We lost about a third of its overall integrity, which is. Better than a lot of ships. Like Battlestar Galactica or something, but it's not it's not ideal. I'm trying to find this other bit. Uh, actually what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have a look scroll out. Can I see anything there? No. What I do wanna go is uh, ship management, uh no, where is it? I'm sure I can change my default somewhere. You can swap your stuff around as well. You can move things around. I haven't got a mort yet, but I'm really looking. I really, I really like the mortar. It's uh, fairly useful. Um, where is it? Where is it? There is a there is a way to to change the uh, the default loadout of it, but uh, I can't remember where that is. Anywhere? Go back to this. Oh, this is it. This is it. Right. Um, so our default position is that. There we go. That's fine. There. That's what I was looking for. Okay. So we'll go back to the. Uh, Sort of world view, would you call it? More, more the sector view. Currently not getting chased by the big bad. Um, once you've made a couple of locations in, you get like a, you're getting chased essentially. Again, very much like like FTL. You can also uh, un you can also meet the Kraken, which is um, something that Liam Neeson probably has released. Um, and yeah, it's uh, it's all kinds of bad. Looks like we've got another fight on our hands here, so we roll roll on the weapons by default, so that's fine. Hmm. So it looks like they're closing in. You can see when they're closing in, I'm trying to go f uh, further away because there's arrows up here at the top and bottom of this thing. Either way, we're going to target that one. Come on, there we go, and then target that one. Actually, you know what? I'm going to get close in. We're going to do a bit of boarding, I think. There's only three of them on there. So, fire. Ah, yes. There we go. Fire, fire. That's fine. Um, they are sailing away at one, one, one pip, and I'm sailing, sailing away at one pip. So, we're going to just keep the same distance until I uh, do some more damage to their sails. In which case, there we go. We are now uh, closing in. Obviously, if they repair those, then we might have a problem. But uh, for the time being, we're doing all right. So, there we go. We're now within uh, close range. So, what I'm going to do is still go towards them. I'm still going to repair the... I'm still going to um, see if we can arm up this grape shot here and we'll uh, get that fired in. We've taken a lot of damage to the bit at the front there, which is the, um, the oh, it's called the healing station or the surgeon station, whatever you would like to call it. However, it's healing itself, which is always useful. I don't know why that is. But, uh, oh, look at that. They've got grape shot as well by the look of it. Well, in that case, let's um, fire ours in. Bump, that's a lot of damage. Right, okay. Uh, I'm going to get the captain over there. You can heal yourself up. You can heal yourself up. And once we are fully healed, although we can't see it, but you can see it's on the left, we will go ramming speed, and here we go. So, brace for impact, and bang! Right, everybody get aboard. Board the ship. <laughs> and um, we'll get the cutlasses. Oh! Yeah, I've just lost all the crew, haven't I? Um, that, that's, that's, that's all kinds of bad. Can we fish them out of the drink? Uh, uh, no. No, I, th I think they're all genuinely dead. Yep, I think, hang on, I don't know. Uh, we are getting chased by the Kraken, though. So, oh, let's just meet it head on. Come on, then. 
We don't have much choice. Is everybody back on board? Everybody's back on board. That's very strange. Uh, it looked like they're all dead and I couldn't fish them out, but then they weren't dead. Which I'm not complaining. It's just an observation. You understand? Okay. So this is the Kraken, and um, it's not great because, um, as you can see, it. Um, well, it it, it 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 well, it's a Kraken. I, I can't really, I can't really, you know, sugarcoat it any more than the fact that. Uh, yeah, there you go. Um, it, it's going to go and attack the uh, attack the ship. So I'm going to tell all of the crew to start hacking at the um, the tentacles because uh, we're trying to uh, stop it, you see. And it's going to just start doing damage. And what we need to do is wait for this uh, bar to build up. Once it's fully built up, we'll be able to then run. But in my experience, it's going to take at least a couple of attempts because my move bar won't be full. Uh, it won't be at a point where we'll be able to activate it now because we're going to get attacked again. Uh, however, once it is once it is ready to go, it takes more time to activate than the uh, than the kraken like leaves us before its next attack. So we're actually going to be having to do this a couple of times. Either way, we're just hacking away there, and as soon as it stops, we are going to. Well, I'm just, I'm, I'm mashing the runaway button. So we've got um, the runaway button flee and. Um, yeah, I think it'll catch us beforehand. Yeah, here it is. It's coming in again. So not much we can really do about this, but we'll uh, we'll do our best. So here we go. No, it's just going to interrupt us. It's going to grab onto the side of the ship. It won't destroy us. At least I don't think it will, because we are able to hack the side of the ship. And oh, good grief! Stop that! Stop that! Stop that! There we go. Cut at the tentacles. And then there we go. And then we flee. We turn on the uh, six-cylinder diesel and then just head on out of there. <laughs> so we've managed to run away from that one. Okay, fine. So we've got one more uh, thing to find. Oh, it looks like it is here, in fact. So distant culture have been spotted. You uh, lean both hands against the rail, stare the vessel with unwinking concentration, watching it maintain its diverging course. Looks like they haven't seen you. So we can say, um, do not deviate from there and don't want to be alerted from the tiniest change in the course. Uh, we can attack them or we can try and sneak away, which we have managed to do. That's fine. And now we can head, because we've uh, had all of the encounters on this side, we're going to head up and then out to uh, the next zone. Cool. Hmm. So we can only go there. Um, it does take 25 food, but obviously it's, uh, it's not something we can really do. Well, not, we don't have much choice anyway. We have to go that way. So we're looking for a port, uh, and there will be a port around here somewhere. It's just a matter of where. In fact, what we'll do, take the, I'll take the liberty of having a look, and no, I can't see the port. So we'll have a... Oh, looks like we crashed into the side for some reason. We'll have a look around, see if we can find this port. Once we've docked up, we'll fully repair the ship, because currently it is all kinds of broken. Just under half health, which is certainly nothing. Uh, I don't really want to uh, go into combat like that. Plasma where all of these islands and stuff in the, each of the maps are randomly generated, as are like the, the enemy encounters and things like that, so. It's got variation there. Not that it matters these bits anyway, because quite frankly, the, the, the moment to moment of just sailing around here is pretty much the same. You just either press and hold uh, and do that, <laughs> or you. Uh, or you. Just click and let it go. But I mean, we're just we're just sort of uncovering bits of map here, and it's just going to be. It's just time. It's just time. Um, later on, it matters because the longer you spend, uh, the more you're going to get followed. Or rather, like the thing builds up. The the big cultist ship, uh, or fleet is coming for you. I believe. Let's go for more food. There we go. Have a little shell about. Ah, we have a port. Okay, so. Right, so. Uh, this is, uh, oh, we're having a couple of uh, drinky poos. I will say another round and then uh, pot. Uh, next next time, there we go. Don't want to drink too much. We've got an early uh, early uh, thing in the morning and, oh, good grief. Are we going to have to... Oh, do you have an option here? Ah, there we go. I was going to say, finally, we get an option for uh, upgrading the ship. So we've got, uh, how much have we got? 195 generic units of currency, which I will say repair all for 53. And we can add additional cannon to the side of the ship for 30, or we can say, for example, buy a mortar, which can go there, which is always useful. Uh, you can get more chain shots, you can remove these and put different ones on, your grape shot. Like I said, I, I would prefer the you reloading and then 
select a particular cannonball and stuff like that. But anyway, you've also got supplies, so you can upgrade your ship, uh, ship, ship sections, like, you know, a better helm and sails and repair. And you've got hull armor and all these additional bits and bobs. And then you've got your ship right as well, which allows you to buy different ships, which obviously cost more. But uh, that's pretty much the game. Um, as I said, this is only this is only just me having a mess around and playing it. Oh, this is uh, us in the tavern uh, buying different people. I will get... Oh, I was going to get a surgeon, but it looks like there isn't a surgeon here. So maybe it's best to get a surgeon from the get-go. Um, probably a marine would be quite useful. And we cannot afford anybody else. So I guess that is us done. Yeah. So, um, yeah, as I said, it's... Uh, I'll just pause it there. It's it's it seems all right. Um, it, it is an early access and stuff from this, like you say, from this little bit of play. Um, it seems all right. I I think the combat's okay. Just a little bit basic, you know. You, they automatically fire at the same spot. You can't really uh, target particular people or anything. You, you know, it's either a big area effect grape or mortar, and you know, it's it's fine. It's okay for what it is at the time being. Maybe it uh, gets deeper later on with upgrades and stuff, but um, yeah, for the time being, I think it's not too bad. I'd like to say I haven't really played enough to really form any great opinion of it, so take all of this with a pinch of salt and stuff, so yeah. Showed you a little bit of it. I uh, might feature again if you want to uh, see more of it, then by all means let me know. Like I say, if um, it's something you are interested in, and uh, yeah, we can go from there, I guess. As always, hope you have enjoyed the beverage and the video. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.